Hello everybody, and welcome to the streets of Renthalem, where we are starting day three of our ad Minecraft Hardcore Advancement Hunting. We survived to day three. I would call that some sort of professional business, if you ask me. We had an excellent session last night, where we achieved almost 15 advancements, big advancements and mini advancements all together. We started cooking up a little farmland over here. Started cooking up some spruce trees, laid down a whole bunch of kitter catter traps everywhere so that we can start taming the cats. We have zero cats so far. They have scattered to the wind. They're on to us. And uh, we're back at it. Of course, we discovered this village in our second session, led here by the Star of Renthalem. We saw this floating block in the sky when we were exploring. We came to have a look, and lo and behold, we found this lovely little village where we have made our home. On the advancements chart so far, looking good. 28 out of 53 biomes discovered, 8 out of 34 monsters obliterated, 31 out of 40 foods chomped, 3 out of 24 animals bred, no kitter catchers found, and 26 of the main advancements in the bag. Very nice. We still need to do take aim. Have we not done take aim yet? Hold on. What is take aim? I don't even know what this one is. I guess we have to look at the, uh, the advancements over here. What's this? Shoot something with an arrow. Wait a minute. Have we not shot something with an arrow? Okay, we have to do this one. That one's easy. And we have to kill a skelly from 50 meters away. That one's pretty easy too. Also hit, need to hit the bullseye. We can do this very easy. Although we need redstone for this, don't we? We need a bit of redstone. I don't think we have any redstone. I am very interested, by the way, in trying to get a totem as fast as possible because we did die um, <laughs> in our first attempt. Uh due to not having a totem. And we need to summon an iron golem to help defend a village. Ooh, that one's pretty easy too. We just need to make our own iron golem. We also need to successfully trade with a villager. Okay, that one's easy. And a few of the th these others are not so easy. But we could probably start cranking out some... some of these things. Um, we need to make a jukebox. Stick a record in it. Do we have a record? I'm pretty sure we yoinked a record somewhere, or was that in the last session? Oh, that was in the last session. I kind of feel like we might need to do some explorationings today, friends. We might need to go look for a cave. Like that one over there, for example. Maybe that goes downwards into the unknown. There's some cave action. Maybe get some diamonds, some redstone, etc. Um, although, I would like to maybe do some enchanting. I mean, we've been cooking up all of this sugar cane to make books and whatnot. I don't know, so many possibilities. Welcome to day three of Minecraft Hardcore Advancements Huntings with Rain Diggity Dog. What's happening, peoples? Hello to the beautiful chat. Hello, everybody. Hey, Kitten74, thank you for the 48 months. And DreamMC is here with the three months. Thank you, my friend. Mothman Exists is here with the two months. Thank you very much, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening. Um, yeah, we have not found any kitter catters at all, which is kind of, kind of weird, but I guess it's not unexpected, not totally unexpected. Um, we did try and trap them. We saw some cats up there on this mountain, but they're gone now. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the cat spawning is glitched in the world. And we did start planting some crops here, didn't we? You know, I kind of want to stay in this area. So that we can grow up our carrots and our taters. The taters are growing here. Carrots are growing here. Oh, we could also go and tame and breed some horses. We know that there's some horses over there. In this direction here. So maybe that's something we want to do too. Also, I mean, if we want to get a raid going and get a totem in our lives. We do need to find a pillager outpost. Or, um, at the very least, be pillaged at some point. But I'm, I don't actually know when pillagers start to spawn in the game. This is a, an unknown thing to me. I do not know uh, if it's after a, a certain number of days or whatever it is. 
but we do know that we don't have any um, villages or pillagers anyway anywhere near us at the moment which is unfortunate but it's fine also uh we probably need to get some coal and stuff too so i feel maybe kicking off today with a bit of a gentle cave adventure might be a good idea we'll have to take like all of this food with us though because yeah we've only got two diamonds and three pickaxes probably not good enough just consolidating some of the stuff in our chest from yesterday we had quite a long session yesterday so uh <laughs> i went straight to bed didn't have a chance to sort any of the the business out but that's that's a lot of bread that should do us quite nicely i think and i'm thinking maybe just like a couple more pickaxes this axe is on the way out we could probably do a little bit of repair work here too and uh, we probably just want to get ourselves ready a little bit i don't think we'll go too deep but um we'll certainly pop our head in have a look at what's cracking and maybe make ourselves another pickaxe here um but yeah kind of keen for these oh, oh oh you know what we're gonna make ourselves another axe because i want to chop down a couple more trees i'm i'm kind of keen for the uh, wait a minute where is our where are our oh i planted them didn't i yeah we're waiting for them to grow yes we need to get our wood supply back up and running we did have two double spruce trees. We cut them down and then, like an idiot, I forgot to pick up the saplings. So, we lost all the saplings. We have to start again on saplification of these, of this very fine tree type. So, why don't, while our crops grow here, friends, we shall chop down a couple of trees and have a chat. How's everybody doing? Tamari Place, thank you for the three months in a row and welcome back. My goodness, guys, we are starting today's stream Thanks to all of these resubs today, over the 1,400 subscriber mark, which is just an absolutely outrageous number of human beings showing up to listen to this weird South African talk absolute nonsense for two hours. I love you. I love you, friends. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Very much appreciated. Uh, okay, this is going to be double spruce tree time now. We can double up there. And unfortunately, no bone meal at the moment. We could probably compost some of this rubbish, but we do want to start preserving our bread and stuff for villager breeding at some point. We would like to uh, pop out some more babies around here. And yes, we'll start working on our iron golem farm at some point too. I kind of rushed into it the last time, and I feel like that was detrimental to our health because I just wasn't really ready, I guess. Oh, and by the way, the, the reason I want to get some more wood here is because I would like to start working on some bookcases. Oh, but you know what we can do? Speaking of advancements, we're going to try and do another 10 advancements today. That's our goal every time we stream. And the advancements include the little ones and the big ones. It doesn't really matter. We just need to do 10 of them. And I think we can probably get two of these done pretty quickly now. Because we do have some emeralds that we have been collecting. We've got nine emeralds. I'm sure we'll be able to trade with a villager. And that'll give us that advancement. And I would also like to make... Uh, what's the archery table called, everybody? Um, oh, I can't remember. We need to turn one of these things into a fletcher. That's it, right? It's a fletching table, I think. How do we make this thing? Flint and plankage. Okay, we have all of these things. I think we found some flint. Did I bring it with? I did not bring in. I, I left the flint. We've come across a ton of flint, but I obviously neglected to pick it up because who picks up flint, right? Um, but we did find some in some ruined portals here and there. I guess we just got to go do this manual styles, find ourselves some gravel. And uh, get ourselves some flint, make a fletching table. And this way we can um, make a fletcher and get a bunch of arrows. And I think a bunch of arrows will be really useful for when we try and defeat a raid. Because, you know, not professional, so we'll probably have to cheese the raid a little bit. Trap the raiders in a hole or something and, and shoot at them or shoot at them from afar or whatever. So the more arrows we can get, the better. Also, take aim. I wonder, that, that, like, can we shoot anything? Wait, what happens if we shoot the squid? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess you have to hit the squid for it to count, right? Okay, hold on. Squid, dude, chill. Chill. Boom! 
Take aim! Nice! Okay, let's lock in our first advancement for the day, friends. There it is. Take aim. Beautiful. One out of ten done. We're cooking with gas out here today. Very nice. Let's get some of that squid juice. Beautiful. Um, yes, yeah, so, flinting table. Um, Fletcher table. Let us make ourselves a Fletcher. And the Fletcher will help us to... Um, get a bunch of arrows. I guess that's another reason why we need a bunch of wood because the Fletcher will um, Will need sticks right in order to trade. Okay, we need to find a villager not in a boat. Is there someone in here? I just heard a dig a leg. It's from my good friend the skiers. Hey skizzy buddy. What's happening, baby? What's happening? I see you've been deep in the Fortnite hole skiz. You've been sucked into it the Lego Fortnite vortex you love to see it, friendo. <laughs> I hope you've been having fun. Dude, I'm too old for that game, man. I just don't have the APM anymore. You know what I'm saying? I just don't have the... I don't have the um, agility anymore. I just get wrecked. So, uh, it's Minecraft for me. 24-7. Let's go. Thank you very much, Skizz, my friend. And hello to all of the Skizzer Wizzles. We are playing Minecraft Hardcore Advancement Hunting. We've made it to day three. This is our third session. So we are about, uh, each session has been about three hours, so this will be our seventh hour. And uh, we very recently, in the last session, discovered this lovely little village. We were exploring, we, we literally traveled about 6,000 blocks to find a village on the seed. We found nothing. And then we saw the star of Renthalem glowing above. And it was quite apt, because this was the day before Christmas, I believe, that <laughs> we found this place. And this town is now called Renthalem. And uh, in the previous session, which was last night, we settled down here and started to do some farming. And we are currently just trying to grow some trees, trying to make a, a Fletcher so that we can get some arrows, so that we can do a raid, so that we can get a, a totem, so that we don't die. Because this is our second attempt, actually, at a hardcore Minecraft advancement hunt. Died in the first one on day two. Don't ask too many questions. I was trying to make an iron golem farm, okay? And things didn't didn't go well. Um, I fell off the farm and died. So this time around, we're, we're much more chill. We're taking things a little bit slower. I was trying to rush it last time. Um, but I can quickly show you, Skiz Skizzes, our advancement chart right here. We have found 28 out of 53 biomes, 8 out of 34 monsters killed, 31 out of 40 foods eaten, 3 out of 24 animals bred. We've achieved 27 out of the 110 main advancements. And we visited two biomes in the nether, which was a mistake. So, you know, we're chilling. We're not trying to, uh, like, speedrun this or whatever. My goal for this is just to finish all the advancements. It's something I've never done in this game before, so... Over the next few months or so, I will be trying to do this. Basically, twiddling my thumbs waiting for the Hermitcraft server to come back up. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> Cannot stop playing Minecraft. Might have a problem. Um, but yes, anyway, thank you very much, uh, Skiz Wiz Skizzle Wizzle, for the raid, my friend. And I hope you had an, a magnificent Christmas with your fam and your friends and all of this. And I hope you were very spoiled by Santa Skiz. And uh, thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate you, dude. Mm. Oh, man. It is such a terrible day in England again today, guys. The wind is absolutely raging outside. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. It is a hurricane coming through this place for the last couple of days. But I'm here inside with a nice cozy cup of tea. Hanging out with you fine people from all over the world. Nothing I'd rather be doing right now than chilling with you fine peeps. So here we go. Fletching table. Let's go and set this up somewhere. We need to find a villager that's not in a boat. I put lots of them in a boat. And then we need to get our brain back in our head. Oh, hello. Magic. <laughs> oh, hello there, sir. Hi. Would you like to become a Fletcher? I think you would. Become a Fletcher, please. Hello. Okay, he is Fletcher. Okay, awesome. We're just in time. What? There was a tornado in Manchester? Okay, that is, that is wow. Very surprising. Uh, to find tornadoes in England. Crazy. 
Uh, by the way, so many noises in my ears. I've missed them all. Skiz, blame Skizzle. Okay, Skizzle completely took my eye off the ball. Uh, Lolo Cry, thank you for the gifted sub. And Daphnis, thank you for the biddies. Zodiac Siren, thank you for the nine month arenos. Dilly Wobbles, thank you for the biddies. Thanks, dude. And Corby Farm is here with a 23 months. Tia Loris, Nick's here with the gifted sub to Skiz Skiz. Thank you very much. And Hattie B44 with the gifted sub. Thank you so much. Stanley MCC with the 1,500 biddies. That's tons of biddies, dude. Thank you. Want to thank you for the amazing Christmas Day stream. It helped me not stress about work. I started watching Homecraft around the start of the King storyline. Such a good piece of lore. Also loving the hardcore series. Thank you so much, Stanley. Appreciate it. Uh, Jagged Carp here with the 62 months and the real John Jr. here with the nine months in a row. Thank you, guys. Tamari plays with the three months also and Grouchy Hermit with the 100 biddies. Level three hype train is a choo choo in. Hello, friend. Can I get some arrows, please? Yes, what a deal. Lock it in, friends. That is achievement number two out of ten for tonight. Where is it? Uh, uh, am I blind? Lock it in. Oh, maybe I have to give it a little bit more time, I think. Hold on, there we go. What a deal. And where is it? Uh, what a deal is... Is this thing broken? Am I blind? What a deal. I... Hmm. Okay. I, okay. I, hmm. That's, what a deal. Successfully trade with a, a, a villager. We've done it, right? Well, why, why is it not in the thing? I, oh, it's streamer brain, isn't it? That's what's happening here. Maybe it's not on this list. I don't know. 28, not today. Hot stuff. Diamonds, best friends, tactical fishing, what a boat. Wait a minute. Is this thing not working today, guys? Like, what's happening? It's tracking the correct world. Zombies ruined our last run. That is the name of the world. Uh, there's one of the emeralds, but okay. Well, I guess it's not on this particular list, which is strange. I think I'm probably just blind, blind, though. I think it's probably just um, stream of eyes. But there we go. What a deal unlocked in our main advancements in the game. So that is sweet. Thank you, friendo. Please, may I have some more? Thank you. We shall have a couple of stacks of arrows, please. That'll do us very nicely. Thank you, bud. Very good. Right, let's chop chop this tree. And we need to unlock his next set of trades, which is going to be emeralds for sticks so we do need to chop another tree here we need to chop another tree so that we can get the uh, thing yeah star trader is world height dropping the villager we'll do that much later on when we've got a bit more infrastructure hey blonde beauty thank you so much for the biddies and thank you to dizzy george for the three months in a row peter paul is here with some biddies too hey render how's a crack greeting from the dogs at the mod craft thanks peter nice to see you again proud loony is here with some biddies too thank you prouds I've been playing Hatsune Miko Colorful Stage. I have no idea what you're talking about, but that sounds awesome. Zack Attack, thank you for the biddies. Guys, wow. You guys were really choo-chooing this evening. Thank you so very much. That is a, a level three train. We haven't even hit the half an hour mark. Much generosity and much love for you all. You're the best. Hey, Bayo, nice to see you ahead of my Patreon community hanging out with us tonight. And a big shout out to all of the moderators, of course, who are with us this evening. I have been taxing our moderators quite hard over the last couple of days, guys. We've been streaming like crazy, haven't we? I think we've streamed pretty much every day for the last 10 days uh, or something like that. At least at least 70% of the days we've streamed, which is excellent. It's actually something that I wanted to try and achieve in December. So uh, I want to see if we can maybe get in a stream for the rest of the year every single day. And as announced yesterday, I will be streaming on New Year's. So if you've got no plans for New Year's and you want to come and hang out with me on New Year's, I, I, I don't, I'm not a New Year's person. I don't do the whole New Year's thing. So I would much rather be nice and cozy inside as opposed to outside in the cold. Um, and I would much rather be hanging out with you guys. So if you want to come and chill with me on New Year's night, which is going to be Sunday, please do come and pop in. And uh, I am trying to organize another couple of hours with Cleo, uh, playing played uh, play up with Cleo again. So... 
we shall see. Yes, we played some plate up with Cleo on Christmas. Uh, we were terrible, and I've been told that Skiz is a master at plate up, so I need to get some some advice from him at some point. But uh, we played it up for like three hours. By the end of the three hours, we were kind of getting into it. We found our rhythm as a team, you know, we were we were rocking. It was great. What a sweet game also, by the way. <laughs> that game is awesome. Thank you very much, Bayo, for the biddies. We need more rain digging and dog streaming. Oh, you we making it happen, Bayo. We making it happen, my friend. Skiz and Tango are pros. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's no surprises to me. It's certainly a game right up their alley, I would say. It was uh, it was a good time. Okay, cool. Wow, these trees are growing so they're growing faster than I can cut them down. This is crazy. Okay, one more tree we take down. That's going to chomp through another axe here. And then we can start getting into that Fletcher's emerald stash, which will be good. And at some point we need to get an ironsmith cooking. I mean, we could probably we could probably start doing some pretty serious trading now, actually, because we've got the bread. We could set up a farmer in one of the houses. We could... Um, they would have to take bread, though, as a trade. Then we could set up an iron, uh, a blacksmith somewhere. Problem is, I'm not sure we'll have enough emeralds to unlock all the good stuff without just doing serious tree grind for the next three hours. Because we could just grind the Fletcher, right? Like, we could just do sticks for the Fletcher over and over again. Um, and crops for the villagers. That's kind of what we did last year when we tried this. We did it, We made it like a massive crop field. And we used the crops to trade with the farmers to get the emeralds to trade with the blacksmiths. But I think there's probably a better way to do it through an iron golem farm. That's kind of what I wanted to do. So, you know what? We won't push it too hard today. Because I would like to achieve this idea of making an iron golem farm. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, hello, good sir. Please, may I have some more? Thank you. Oh, we're going to need more emeralds anyway, though. So, so this, we cannot progress this anyway. Which is relatively sad. We're like one trade away from unlocking that guy's second tier of trades now. But, um, it's fine. We shall crack on with that at some other point. We've already been distracted. We were supposed to go on an adventure, friends. We've been distracted already. Speaking of adventures, let's make sure we are propagating our crops. We need to get another row of beautiful carrots going here now. And what about the taters? The taters are in here. Taters taking some time to grow though. Let's get another hoe. And uh, I'm thinking, now that we've got some excess carrots, maybe we should start thinking about going over there to tame those horses. Don't want to make the same mistake I did last time, though. I don't want to leave this place until I've got all the, the saplings. So let's just wait here while the leaves evaporate. Uh, by the way, more beautiful gifted subs coming in here from the wonderful, illustrious Foofalicious. Thank you so very much, Fifi. Very much appreciated. And Terra Wolfie is here with the nine-month Twitch baby. Isn't she beautiful, Terra? She's got your eyes, baby. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, Storm again. Nice to see you, my friend. And Leslie is here too. Hey, Leslie. Okay. Um, potatoes? Anything? Any? It, I always struggle to see the mature potatoes. I think... It's one more level, right? Like the, the potato actually comes out the ground a little bit more, if I recall correctly. Or is this mature potato? I know, I don't know. I think it comes up another nubbins, like another pixel here. And then that will be a, a ripe potato. I hate breaking crops when they aren't growed. Gr when they aren't growed. growed. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's just such an inefficient use of time, you know. Right, let's clear this bin up here. We can make two more giant spruces. That is, yeah, that's more than enough giant spruce action now. Got an absolute ton of giant spruce up here now. Excellent. Plus, we've got at least a three or four stacks of spruce wood now. Oh, thank you for the fourth one that we needed. Very nice. Okay, awesome. 
Spruce mission complete. Feeling good. I guess maybe what I would like to do is... Uh, shall we do a little bit of sorting here, guys? Just a little bit. Nothing too serious. I'm just starting to feel the panic kick in when I look in these chests. Do you know what I mean? Like, the chests are just an absolute nightmare right now. I, I don't really know even where to begin with the sorting system. Um, I think what I'm going to do is yoink all useful stuff out of here and stick it upstairs. And this will just be like junk stuff. And yeah, there's even more useful and junk in here too. We did make some more furnaces too. Let's plonk those on this side. And is there anything else of use in here? Like, you know, we're not going to use much of this, really. It's all pretty much trash. Um, that is a fortune pickaxe, though. I guess I'd like to to arrange this in a, in a way that looks relatively neat-ish. And we can just plonk, like, all of this business in here. I guess planks can go down here. Excess arrows can go here. I think we want a couple stacks of arrows, though. Um, yeah, excess tools, I guess, we can put along the bottom of this thing. Hose can go down here. Sticks can go in here. There's a hoe, fishing rod, buckets, shears. Yeah, there's some useful stuff in here, okay. See, but now we're cleaning things away, so it's starting to look a little bit more... or a little bit less chaotic. I can kind of understand what's happening now. Okay, nice. Very nice. I guess what we can do is arrange them going across like this. So wood can be up there. We can put ores and stuff along this row here, including diamonds and whatnot. Then consumables can go here. I guess wheat is consumables. Redstone and things, this is also consumables. Redstone and stuff can go here. Interactables and whatnot, and ammo and stuff can go here. Okay, there we go. That's looking way neater, right? I like it. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, we still got a little bit more stuff in here too. So some of these can go in here. The bucket of lava is, I guess, a tool. That can go in there. Fishing rod can go here. This is also kind of like a tool thing. Okay, that looks good. We take the bucket with us, I think, on our little adventure. Probably going to take a stack of ingots or the iron that we've got and some spruce. And you know what? I'm going to take the furnaces with us too. So we can do some on-the-road smelting. And in that case, we should probably take some coal too. So inventory <laughs> refilled, hey, with the junk. Okay, we'll take one stack of arrows. Also, all of this food is unnecessary, but we'll chomp through it pretty pretty soon. Plus, we've got torches. Okay, that looks good <gasps> uh, for an adventure. It's nighttime. Got carried away in the chests. Guernsey Donkey, thank you for the biddies. Do you play Phasmophobia? No, I do not know this game. I do not know this game, but um, is it cool? Hey, Very Kitty, thank you for the gifted subs also, and thank you to Very Kitty for the brand new subscription. Thank you, Very Kitty. Appreciate it. Yeah, this is looking nice and organized, hey? Beautiful. I think we should probably take the golden apple with us just in case something really bad happens. Yeah, we're, st you know, we're in hardcore right now. If we're going into a cave system, things could get a little bit scary, and we should probably make sure that, um... Yes, that nothing too bad happens. Or at least have some sort of a backup if it does happen. Right, carrots are growing. Final bit of stuff to do around the village. Let's do one more sugarcane harvest. And then we can head off and try and find a cave somewhere close by. Not too far away. I think actually where we found that little mini swamp biome the last session, there was like a lush cave there. We also need glow berries and stuff, so maybe we should try find a lush cave nearby. That could be pretty useful. 
And let's make sure we take the bed too. Okay, awesome. Adventure time is ready, friends. Let us go forth and conquer. Let's go f uh, try find a lush cave biome. I have a theory. I think I might know where one is. Let's go find it. Hey, Tamari plays. Thank you so much for converting your Prime Gaming sub to a tier one sub. Thank you, Tamari. I don't. I don't know. I have no idea what that means. But thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay. Um. I have a theory that there is some cave systems and stuff very close by here. We came out here yesterday to yoink some copper, and I remember s potentially seeing a lush cave. But only time will tell. I think it was around this corner here, right? Ooh, look at this. This is a cave hole. Emerald. Nice. Okay. Okay, we're going deep. We're going real deep. Emeralds. This is actually really good. <laughs> We needed to finish off that trade with uh, the Fletcher, didn't we? So we should have the emeralds for it now, which is great. And this was just a little crevasse. Nothing too interesting down here. Okay, underwater caves make me nervous. So let's not go too far. But I guess, yeah, this comes out over here. Okay, cool. Well, we've mapped out that little section. I think the bit I'm thinking about is around the corner. Let's pump our head around there and see what we can find. So far, so good though, hey? No risk. No reward. But we're not really risking that much, to be honest. <laughs> we're not pushing ourselves into uh, much danger at the minute. Which is good. Okay, here's another little cave system. Let's have a look. Just copper in this one, bit of lava. Yep, nothing here. But we are going to yoink iron whenever we see it. Today we shall also make an iron golem, because I think we have a pumpkin. Although, you guys have been telling me to pick up pumpkins, and I haven't been doing it, because, you know, I, I thought I knew better. But I think you guys were probably right, because I don't think I have a pumpkin back home, and we need a pumpkin to make a golem. So we might need to go and pick up a pumpkin also. If you see a pumpkin, shout. I um, neglected to yoink pumpkin. Wouldn't mind getting some more bacon, to be honest. Um, <laughs> we are kind of running out of food. Sorry, piggies. Also, every pig is a little bit of XP. And if we are going to make an enchanting setup soon... The more XP, the better, right? Okay. There is a potential cave system here. Ooh. Okay. This looks curious. Okay, that is very deep. It's very cool, though. But I don't think there's anything down there, though, right? Yeah. I don't think we want to go down there. That looks like death to me. Should have brought some blocks too. Also, why did I bring the hoe? Never bring the hoe. Didn't bring any building blocks. There is something happening here. Oh, that takes us to the outside of this mountainside, so not interested. Jet Wizard, you playing decked out? You love to see it. <laughs> That is awesome. There's a pumpkin. Hup. Oh no. Ooh, that was a little bit too close, eh? Getting a little bit cocky in our old age on this server, guys. Hey, in this world, starting to think we're invincible. All it takes is one silly jump and it's all over. Okay. Um... Let's go a little bit further. Trying to spot an azalea tree. Is that one there? I don't think so. Yeah, we're trying to spot an azalea tree. That will show us that there's a lush 
um, cave biome nearby. And I'd like to chomp on some glow berries today is the plan. Yeah, we do need feather falling very badly. That is very true. And we probably should be focusing our energies on getting enchants and stuff. But I don't know. I just feel like doing a little bit of adventuring at the moment. We don't have to do anything, right? We can always just go back if things are feeling a little bit dodgy. Uh, what is going on here? Is this a potential cave system? It's a cave system, but it's that's about where it ends. Nothing in there of any value. And this might be a thing here. Ooh. This is looking promising. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. That is an absolutely ginormous mob farm. Goodness. Okay, we need to get in there and clear it out. You're on fire, skeleton! Hello, zombie. Oh, he set me on fire. Where's my bucket? Okay, this is this is a dangerous a dangerous cave. This is a dangerous cave. Oh baby. Baby's on Bert. Arrows flying left, right and center. Whew. What the heck? Why there be creepers exploding? What's happening? Can we attack this from a different angle? Ooh, there's some iron up there. Don't mind if I do. Okay, everything's fine. Danger all around. Yeah, this this cave is absolutely loaded. Skellington. I am trying to mine, dude. Please. Okay. We are going to liberate this cave. There is a, I don't know, some sort of a tribe that lived in there and got destroyed, I think. Let's get a few torches in here, and then we can take a moment to look around and see what's going on. All right, spider, come at me, dude. Got him. Oh my goodness, did that end is that Enderman cross? It is cross. It's in the boat, though. That could have been very bad. I was trying to be too smart for my own britches. This is a super cool cave for like a starter base, right? Like for your first base in a survival world. This is awesome. Lots of space to make a room and stuff. Does it lead anywhere though? The cave has been liberated, but there is no... There's nothing in it. Unfortunate. That was fun, though. <laughs> Rain almost pulled his skiz. I hate to see it. Nuno the Kitten, thank you for the biddies. Was racing over at BRR earlier today, and now I, I have even more respect for you and for everyone who raced because it turned out to be much harder than I imagined. Already feel like I might spend many hours in there, maybe even beating your record one day. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you to Char for the tier 1 sub and to Waynestone98 for the prime. Thank you so much, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right. This cave system... Going nowhere. Let's take a squiz into this... On this side of the mountain over here. 
Yeah, look, there's caves here. We just need one of these cave portals to take us down into the un into the abyss, basically. Oh, this is the same system. Okay. If not, we'll be happy with just a bit of coal, bit of XP. And to get home in one piece, right? Right, let's go into this mountain on this side. Via tree, obviously. No, that that's that's going nowhere, right? Hup! <laughs> I really should not be doing that. I am so sorry, everybody. I I I just I can't help myself. I don't know what it is. It gives me a little adrenaline rush, you know? It is silly, though. I know. I don't know if I can... I can't help myself, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so... We have been to this side of the world before. And... We just passed through this, actually. On the way back from an adventure. Hello, Llama Face. And, I don't know, I kind of remember at some point seeing... A really deep cave system somewhere. This is a deep cave system, but it is a water system. And that is basically death. Let's not do that. I'd much rather we find a nice, just a nice natural cave system somewhere. Ooh. Something like this. This is what we need. This is going to take us down into the depths. It's probably horrific down there. But... This is a chance for us to also find, potentially, um, a notch apple, which is one of the things we have to eat. We also have to find it, one of the rarest items in the game. So the sooner we start uncovering potential notch apple locations, the sooner we get to that goal. Okay. Um, let's have a look. No mobbage here, so that's cool. And a few tunnels here and there. We want to try go downwards toward diamonds. And we'll yoink anything along the way. We also need lapis, right? If we we're growing a bunch of sugarcane for for books, but we will need lapis to do any sort of enchanting. So we do actually need to do this. Hey, Funky Laugh, thank you for the two months in a row. Hey, Ren, super psyched for the hardcore series and even more excited to see what you get up to in Season 10. Thank you, my friend. Okay, deep slaved level. Confirmed. For a moment, I thought we were in decked out again. Is that a spawner potential? Granny armor. Nice. Kind of felt like this fella came out of a spawner. Maybe not. Okay. We need to be careful down here, guys. There is a lot of very thin, scary tunnels. We're getting squeezed. The deeper we go, the more squashed it gets. But we are at deep slate level now. But nowhere near diamonds. We're at minus two. I think we need to get to like minus, what, minus 50? When do diamonds start, guys? No, minus 20, right? <laughs> yeah, B double O armor. Oh, look at all the iron down here. This is great. Minus 58. Okay. We have a, a lot of depth things still to go. 
Yikes, 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 yikes. Okay, everything's gonna be fine. Lapis, though. Perfect. Didn't even see that. That is amazing. Kind of want to quickly have a look through here. Let's have a look. What's going on up here? Anything of interest? Lots of cave systems. Gold? I think we're interested. I mean, not really. It gives us XP for smelting. Yeah, Y53 is where we need to get to. True, true, true. Okay, this is taking us up again. Let's begin the slow descent toward redstone. We also need redstone for our iron golem farm. So, this adventure, as risky as it is, is entirely necessary, everybody. We need redstone. We need one more diamond to make our diamond pickaxe. He just had to explode, didn't he? He was like, dude, I'm going to explode no matter what. <laughs> he just had to do it. Oh yeah, gold for the golden apples too. True, and the golden carrots. But we'll eventually trade for those. This looks like a staircase down into oblivion too. Redstone! Nice. Okay, first bit of redstone. You know what we could probably do with this, guys? Um, we can do this one now. The bullseye, because we needed redstone to make a, a bullseye block, or a target block. So we can do this one now. So that's sweet. And the bat is taking us down, 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 down into the depths of Minecraft. Yikes. Okay. I hate these little crevice things. You just get creepers spawning in these uh, these little gaps here, you know. And they fall on you too. There's the redstone though. Nice. Oh! This is this takes us all the way to the bottom now. Okay. Well, this is it, friends. This is the point of no return. To the bottom of Minecraft we go. May all our wildest dreams come true. All of our redstone dreams are coming true. Into the upside down we go. That's leading down into a lava pool. I wonder if we want to bring the bucket of water though, right? We need to find a way out of here though. Okay. This is taking us nowhere. Let's just joint the redstone. Dang it. Okay, this comes through to a thing. This might open up into a nice big cave network. And if we can find a lush biome somewhere, that would be most awesome. Oh, we can pick up another water source here too. Bunch of redstone everywhere. The bottom of Minecraft is so cool now. Uh, how deep are we? 52. So we're pretty much there now. We're at diamond level. How much redstone have we got? Let's get a stack of redstone. That'll do. Stack of redstone. If you guys see diamonds, please shout. Shout, shout, shout. Haven't seen a single mob, hey? You guys notice this? Also, we're going to run out of coal down here. Just realized. 
There is, of course, no coal, no coal down here. So maybe should have made more torches. Whoops. Hello, Spitter. Couple of spits. We might need to uh, <laughs> redstone torches. Yeah, we just use redstone torches. Is that the end of this little system? That is unfortunate. This goes nowhere. Yeah, this goes nowhere. Oh no. No diamonds either. Hmm. Does this take us up to somewhere? Nope. Okay, uh, this could be a thing. I don't think we've traveled here before, right? This is not where we came down, but this is a kind of sketch situation. Kind of sketch. Hmm. Don't like this very much. Oh god. Definitely don't like it when a zombie's coming to push you into the lava. Let's deal with that lava. This is not something that I want to worry about. Okay, this brings us back up to our original little position here. Interesting. Okay, so that system's explored. I feel like there's probably nothing left there. And this little adventure was not very lucrative at all, I'm afraid. We did get the redstone, though. And the lapis. Maybe I shouldn't be too ungrateful for not dying. Redstone lapis, good. It would be so good to get a diamond pickaxe, though, right? Doesn't that give us another advancement, too? Idiot. Really would like to get some glow berries, though, you know? I think this is the other side of that massive thing that we saw, that we went down. Yeah, this doesn't go anywhere. Hmm. Okay. No need to get greedy, hey? I think we did good. The only question now is how the heck do we get out of here? Here is more cave, though. This might be an iron vein. Is, uh, is this an iron vein? Diamond! 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 <laughs> Just started panicking. Sorry. <laughs> Just want to secure the area. Let's get some lapis. <gasps> okay. Okay, that scared the living heck out of me. How did we not die? Why are we still down here? Let's get the diamond and get the heck out of here, people. This is... This is too much for my soul. Yeah, that was a sky creeper, wasn't it? That came out of the... Out of the sky. Nice, that's our third diamond for our pickaxe. Okay. Okay, I'm tilted. My nerves are shot. We're out. I don't know where we are, though. I have no idea where we are. Where we are. 
Is this where we came from? Let's get some iron. Whew. Yeah, the, the water saved us there, right? That was... <laughs> that was definitely death. If the, if the creeper wasn't in water, we would have got exploded. Pretty much evaporated. Whew. Intensity. Okay, uh, how did we get there in the first place? Here we go, there's some torches. I think, yeah, this is the original place that we found, but how did we get down here is the question. Follow torches up. Should hopefully lead the way. Did we come down here? New. Okay. This is fine. We'll go up as much as possible, then just dig out, I think. We do need, like, some building blocks also. We've been meaning to collect some cobblestone and stuff, so... This might give us a chance to do that. Instead of going down caves, we go up caves now. That's a torch. That's one of ours. Oh, I can feel the sweet relief. The sweet relief it comes. Yes, we made it out, guys. We made it out. Let's stock up on coal, though. Because we turned all of our coal into uh, torches for this particular mission. And we do need coal back home for cooking purposes. But I do believe, friendos, we can call this a successful mish. Just need a few more bits of iron to make a stack. Then we're going to go back with a stack of iron. Almost, not well, not quite a stack of lapis, but... Definitely enough lapis to do an initial bit of enchanting. Hup. Oh, okay. Walk straight into a skeleton pit. <laughs> See your skeletons. No time for you today, thank you. Here we go. It's also nighttime outside, so... Let's sleep and let's get the heck out of here. Hey, Miss Teach, nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. And hope you're all doing well, guys. We made it out the cave in one piece. Nice. What an adventure. What an adventure that was. I'm actually sweating a little bit, not going to lie. Things got a bit hairy there with that creeper. It made me start shaking a little bit. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, we should be dead. Let's be honest, we should 100% be dead after that, but we managed to, uh, we managed to dodge death. Let's not push it any further, shall we? Back home we go. <laughs> Lapis, redstone, the third diamond for our diamond pickaxe. All of these things are now done. And if I'm not mistaken, this brings us back to our bee farm. Isn't our bee farm around here somewhere? That we set up last time? Heart attack situation, but chill stream. That's, that's how we like to cook on this stream. Definitely. I think the bees might be here somewhere. The bees! The bees! Anyway, let's go home. I mean, I think home is this way. I could be wrong, but my... Oh, yeah, here's our torches and stuff. There's the bees. Okay, we know where we are now. There's our bees. Hello, bees. This gets us one... St oh, you know what, guys? Maybe... I don't think we have the obsidian for it, though, do we? New. No. We, oh, we need another diamond for an enchanting table. 
We need a diamond for the pickaxe so that we can mine the obsidian for the enchanting table, right? This is this is our hierarchy of needs right now. However, we could potentially get the pickaxe from the um from the blacksmiths. This is a, a valid strategy that we have available to us. But that means I think we need to get cracking on the, the golem farm. Because then uh, then we, we're going to get our, our emeralds from um, food and sticks instead. And it's going to take too long. Yep, this is the way home. I know the area now. Yeah, we need to infrastructure food Felicious. You're right. We need to get some infrastructure in. Thank you, by the way, Foofs, for the wonderful tip. I'm uh, In watching you play hardcore, I come to realize you're a perfect type of person to take an ancient city. They terrify me and plenty others, but having one anxious king is great when the anxiety redirects to help others. Yes, we will take on an ancient city in the series at some point. I'm not looking forward to it, but it, it has to get done. This is where we will find our notch apples, too, because notch apples are abundant in ancient cities. So... If we don't find the... And I think we have to get all the records too. So we, we actually have to go there to get the shards and stuff. Yes, we shall ancient city at some point. It's going to be intense though. Not going until we have full enchanted diamond gear though. That's all I'm saying. And totem. At least two totem. Totai. We need at least two totai. <laughs> All right, back home we go. What a wonderful feeling it is. Getting home after a relatively frightening adventure in the land of Minecraft. To the town of Renthle Renthalem. The star of Renthalem above, glowing in the morning dusk. Oh, there is an advancement for the discs? Okay, never mind then. <laughs> Never mind then. Okay, we back. We back. Nice. Okay, let's get cooking on the iron and the gold and the pork chops. We've got steak ready to go. Beautiful. And building blocks. I think I'm going to put building blocks in, in here. We will slowly start moving stuff around. Building blocks will go in there. Adventure Fern Eyes there. Useful stuff in here. Here's our three diamonds. Lapis, redstone. Very nice. Emeraldes. And also the iron. Biologicals will go down here. Extra ammo goes in here. Biologicals down here. And let's go and unlock that Fletcher's second level of um, trades. See what he's got for us. Hey, bud. More arrows, please. Thank you. Did you ding ding? Yes. <laughs> Ugh, yikes. Um, all right. Bows from this fella next. Well, this is good. We can start making dispensers with that. Very good. Um, what else is new around here? Oh, let's check our carrot situation. Nice. Lots of excess carrots coming through. And we're starting to do some proper farming out here now, guys. This is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, what? Uh, after all these years of playing Minecraft, I still learn something new every day. Did you know that you can't hoe this, the podzol? I did not know this. Now I, now I nay. Right, potatoes must be... This has got to be a, a fully grown potato, right? Yes, it is. Okay. This one too. And this one. This one. This one. Yep. This one. I think the this is wheat. Wheat. This is going to be a potato row here. Going to start switching out to taters. Second tater row will start here. Okay, very good. Next batch of carrots we get, we're going to go and um, tame the horses and breed them. But I feel 
like we need an advancement in our lives right now, right? We need an advancement. Okay, we do advancement. We're going to do arrow-related advancements because we've just got bow and arrows from the Fletcher. So bow-related advancements are next. We can do... Um, the target block one. Oh, how do you make this target block? How do you make this? Oh, it's redstone around a wheat. I thought it was the other way around. Never mind. Now that we've got the redstone, we can do this one. Awesome. We can also do the hit a skeleton in a boat, which we will do at night. We've got to hit this thing 30 blocks away, right? Okay, this this should be pretty easy. We will plonk it on top of this torch. Gollum, you need to get out the way, dude. We're doing some target practice. Move. KB Gamer, thank you so much for the prime sub, my friend. Thank you, thank you, and welcome, welcome. Okay, is this is this 30 blocks away? We gotta hit the bullseye, right? Oh, that's close. We should probably count this also. <laughs> Wait a minute. I is it 50 blocks away? Oh, the skeleton is 30 blocks. This is 50. Okay, so this is block one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. <sighs> 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So it's this one. Okay, from here. Yo, uh, Gollum, dude. You you need to move. Okay, this is going to be harder than I thought. Oh. I think there's an easier way to do this also. You just build 50 blocks up and shoot down. But this is more fun. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Oh, was that not it? Surely. Oh my goodness, that was definitely it. How was that not it, though? How was that? That's in the hole. Thirty meters away. Okay. So it's 30 meters away for the thing. But but surely it's like... Is, isn't it 30 or more? I guess it has to be 30. It has to be in the red dot. Okay, well, from 30, it's going to be easier. So let's re rearrange to 30 blocks then. It has to be dead center. Okay, jeez. Okay, so this was 50, right? 50. This was 50. 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40. 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30. Okay, from here, right? This is it. I think we found the right line. That golem is stressing me out though.
<laughs> the color is making me nervous too. Um. Okay. <laughs> Isn't there a way to cheese this? Like you, you put a block. How do you cheese it? Like you put a block on top of the the thing and just fill it with arrows, and then you break the block or something. This is definitely harder than it looks. Yeah, you load a trap door, then run a redstone line to open it when you're 30 away. Okay, I see. Oh, you know what? That's actually way more interesting to do it, to do than this. Let's do that. Let's do it the redstone way. We just got a bunch of redstone, so let's do it. Hey, Nitta Joy, thank you so much for the eight months in a row. And welcome back, welcome back. Making multiple targets increases the chance of the bullseye too. That's very smart. You guys are very smart. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to set the target block here. We're going to make a trapdoor. We're going to load the trapdoor up with arrows. Run a redstone cable. This is actually great because we can count exactly 30 redstone, right? Then we will push a button. That will trigger the redstone. And splatterations will occur. We need more than four wood to make trapdoors because Minecraft economics. All right, check it out. Oh, we need a repeater? Okay. Oh yeah, of course we need a repeater. Of course, we've got one repeater. We probably need like a couple more, I guess. Hmm. Yes, we probably need a couple more repeaters. Um, stone cutter. Yeah, we probably need like two repeaters, right? Um, wait a minute. How do we make a stone cutter? Stone cutter. It's like, uh, iron, iron ingot, cobblestone? Is that right? Smooth stone, I think, right? Um, stone cutter. Let's see. I should know this. Such a noob. Iron ingot and three stones. Okay, we do need the stones, so we'll need to smelt some of this. Let's get con some cobblestone cooking. Okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. We're going to need some more redstone torches though, right? I know we've got four. That's going to make two more repeaters. I think we'll be good. This will now make a stone cutter for us. No. Three stones. Three stones required. Okay, cool. Here we go. So, stone cutter done. Stone cutter will make smooth stone slabs. Smooth stone slabs will make repeater, right? New. No. <laughs> Never mind. We don't actually need the stone. Wow. I am terrible at this game. Ignore me, guys. Pretty sure that's how we used to make them. I'm old school, okay? There we go. That's going to be the nine repeaters that we need. Or the two repeaters, anyway. Okay, sweet. So, 30 redstone. We got the trapdoor, we got the repeaters, we got the button. These are the things that we need to cheese this advancement. Like a so. Um, okay. We need to refill this. Okay, now 
we'll need the repeaters to boost the signal to get here. Three, four, five, and this is exactly 30, right? We counted it out in the in the hot bar. So this is going to take us to... We were at, I think we were actually a block too close there, right? That looks like it. There we go. Button. This will take us to here. Repeat, please. Button. Oh, I think that's it. We only needed one repeater. Okay, good. Okay, that opens the trap door. Nice. Okay, guys. We're doing it. <laughs> In the most painful way possible. We're doing it. We're going to get this advancement. Chabby says, hi, Ren. First stream I could catch. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, my friend. Glad you're enjoying it. Despite the derps. All right. We just load up the center with a whole bunch of arrows. And statistically speaking, one of them should theoretically get in there, right? Okay. Even the golem knows. Even the golem knows. Miss Shrank, thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's not talk about it, guys. We all saw nothing. <laughs> the golem is just like, dude, what are you doing? The golem very confused right now. What you do, indeed? Okay, here we go. Perfect. We have fully loaded that central bit. Okay, you guys ready for this? Ready to lock in our fourth advancement? Ding, 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 ding! Bullseye. Lock it in, babies. Lock it in. There it is. Bullseye. Excellent. Excellent. Beautiful stuff. Next one is to hit a um, skeleton from 50, right? In a boat. Well, just... Wait, what is it? Kill the skeleton from at least 50 meters away. Okay, so next night we're going to go out into the savannah. And uh, attempt to do this bit of stupidity. I'm sure everything will be fine. But you never know. Alright, redstone stuff going back. Sweet. Building blocks here. Gonna like slowly over time start sorting out these chests, you know? Every time we pop in we just do a little bit more work on them. Okay, carrots are now propagated to two rows worth, which means we get to go and try... Oh, we can breed uh, pigs now too, right? We haven't bred uh, piggies yet. I killed all the pigs! I killed... Oh. We turned all those bacons and... Oh, wait, there's pigs here. Nice. You served a purpose! You actually did something, you useless idiot. Good job. Mega babies, please. A mega babies. Yes, lock it in, my friends. Piglet created. Nice. Very nice. Right, that's another one done. Now the sun goes down and we trample crops, of course, because professionals. And this is probably a terrible idea, but we're going to do it anyway. We can always retreat if things get a little bit too scary. But let's head into the savannah. And uh, try trap a skeleton in a boat. And then try kill it from 50 blocks away. The trouble with this one is that your arrows kill the boat. Which can get kind of annoying. 
What is... What's over there? Is that lava? Looks like a ruined temple, but I don't think it is. Right? A ruined portal. Right. Let's go behind here. This looks like a nice flat bit of savannah. And let's see if we can get this one. 50 blocks away. That is quite a distance. Like, how do we even count it, right? Okay, there's a skelly. Oh, wait, I think I've done this before from the ocean. Get in the boat, dude. Okay, he's in the boat. He's in the boat. Oh, I needed a boat. I need a boat too. Whoops. Okay, everything's fine. Crafting table. Boat. Boat. Okay, let's work out using the coordinates how far we need to go. So we are currently traveling on the Z. Minus 618. Let's figure out where he's at. He's at minus 6164. Minus 6164. Minus 6164. Uh, whoops. Sorry, guys. Uh, minus 6164. That's where he's at. Okay, so where do we need to go, guys? Help me do the maths. My maths is really terrible. Um, so it's minus 6164. And we are traveling away from it. So minus 6164. Minus 6164 minus 50 equals minus 6114, right? Okay, 6114, which is right here. Okay, cool. Cool, we figured it out. Thank you, guys. Right. Where is he? There. Yikes. Okay. Let's try not kill the boat. Most important thing. No, I killed the boat. Oh, you hate to see it. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I mean, he seems to be like staying... Okay, where are we at? Minus 6166. As long as he just stays there. 614. Okay, if we kill him from here, I think we get it. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, there's one. There's two. He's just shooting at me. No, he's he's too close now. He's too close now. We need to back up a bit, I think. Okay, here we go. You and me, skeleton. Got him! Headshot, but... We weren't far away enough. Oh, no. Oh, you do hate to see it. Okay. Well, we're going to have to try again. Find an Ellis Gellington. Yoink all the arrows. And the boat. Zombert, I do not have time for you, friendo. You are not who we are interested in right now. I definitely want to do this boat thing. I think this boat thing is great. Okay, here we go. Here's another one. Here's another skeleton. Hup. Missed me. Get in the boat, dude. Get in the boat. He's not getting in the boat. Okay, he's in, he's in, he's in, he's in, but he is hitting me shot after shot. Oh my goodness. Whew. All right, guys. Um, 
This is going to be a little bit harder, I think. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's heal up. Where is he at now? Okay, he's on this... He, ow! He's on this row here. Which is... Minus 6281. Minus 6281. Minus 6281. Man, this is stressful. Okay. We're going in the ocean. Minus 6281. Thank you, guys. And minus 6281 minus 50 is... Minus 6231? Yeah, minus 6231. Okay. So uh, minus, we can back up a little bit. Minus 6231. Dude, seriously? Idiot. Okay, here we go. Let's start high. I did it again. He's standing still though. Oh, he's in the boat again. There we go. That's the spot. That's the spot. He's out of the boat again. And he's coming to the shore. Oh, goodness. Oh, he came way... He came all the way into the water, too. We need to back up a bit, I think. This has got to be far enough, surely. Oh, it's getting real close now. No, he despawned! He despawned! <laughs> oh no, guys. Oh no. This is absolutely outrageous. Soul Taker, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate it, my friend. We've got one more skelly over here. We need to catch him under the tree too, right? All right, we got him. We need to build some blocks above him though, or he's gonna cook. Creeper, I do not have time for you, friendo. Do you not have time for you, Creeper? Please, dude. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, you know what? Dude, you wanted to do it this way. Now we're going to... Does it work if we rain arrows down upon him vertical blocks? Will that work? What if we drop... Yeah, like what if we do it from above? Should do. <laughs> There's a zombie in the boat now too. And it's burning. Okay. Sure. We can try that. We need a ton of blocks though, right? Oh, must be horizontal. Okay, we dudes, let's just do this legit, okay? Which block is he on? Let's say he's on this one. This is 6187. 6187. We're going to go this way. 6187 Minus 6187. Okay, off we go. Minus 6187 minus 50 is minus 613. 
seven, right? Minus six one three seven. Okay, so a little bit further back. Minus six one three seven. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Did I take the coordinates wrong? Oh, I'm going in the wrong direction. Okay, so uh, it's minus 687 plus 50. So minus 6237. Okay, 6237. Thank you for all the help, guys. This is hard. Doing maths and streaming at the same time is no fun okay this is it let's do a marker arrow that's way over the top we'll just come down a pixel at a time until we start hitting his noggin oh that's very close oh that's so close oh i need to go down one pixel There we go. There we go. We hit him twice. Three times. Got him. Nice. Lock it in, babies. Oh, we lock that one in with joy. Sniper duel. Let's go. Whew. Mildly stressful though, hey? Sheesh. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That took way longer than it should have though. <laughs> but it's fine. That was fun. That was fun. Sweet. That chicken's like, dude, what are you doing? Don't, don't ask chicken, okay? We're busy. We're busy doing things. Don't get involved. It's got nothing to do with you. <laughs> Just get sassy with the, with the, the poultry. Okay, great. Back to base. Back to base we go. And how many... Guys, have we been tracking how many advancements we've done so far? I want to go and do horses now. On the other side. We have a done at least like three or four. Maybe more. Five? Oh, we, uh, no, we don't need pumpkins anymore. We found a pumpkin. But thank you for reminding me. But I, I did yoink a punk, pumpkin on the way back. We've done four so far. Okay. That's pretty slow going for today, but it's okay. Still a couple we can knock out. We can do the um, Iron Golem one now, also. And we can breed these horses all the while our crops and stuff are growing, so that's good. Hello, horsies. Uh, we have to tame them first, right? All right. Be my friend, dude. Please. Do you guys remember the first time you found a horse in Minecraft? Because I do. It was in my first Minecraft survival series. And um, this was in 2012. Back then, um, there wasn't really that much information out about, you know, there wasn't, weren't wikis and tutorials and things like that. You know, we were discovering the game ourselves. And I think everybody had pretty much the same experience, which was no idea how to tame a horse. <laughs> I had no idea how to do it. I think I spent that episode. Um, oh, we'll need golden carrots. Oh, that's okay. We've got some golden carrots. We've got gold back home. But I think I spent that episode like trying to figure it out. And I think I had to wait for my chat to tell me or my, my comments on YouTube to tell me how to do it. It was uh, mildly embarrassing. But um, that is the beautiful, beautiful experience that is Minecraft. Stella says I was 10. <laughs> My goodness, that was a long time ago. Alright, let's go get some gold. Oh, we can harvest our sugar cane on the way back too. 
Uh, by the way, everybody, I was very focused on our killing a skeleton task, and I've not been able to catch up with you beautiful Twitch peeps. How's everybody doing? You guys holding up okay? I hope you had a good day wherever you are today. Maybe you were probably working today, right? Or you might be uh, on holiday right now. You know, some people might say hanging out with family is work. Do you know what I mean? It sort of counts as work too, doesn't it? Corsair says sick but okay. Hope you feel better soon, man. That sucks. Being sick is never fun. I hope you feel better soon, man. Alice is currently at work. Luke is about to take a nap. Nice. Ah, oh, you do love a nap. Panda says, finally got the Hermitcraft World download and, and boat raced a lo with a load of friends. Awesome. I hope you guys had a blast. Icy says, I've been studying for my real estate license. A real estate license today, but I can crochet while watching the videos. Nice. Best of luck. That's super exciting. Come on, horses. This horse is so cool. Look at its little legs. I want this horse so bad. Baby horsey. Lock it in, people. Lock it in. Nice. Horse bread. Excellent, excellent stuff. Um, I do want this horse, though. Um, excuse me. This way, please. When we get a saddle, we are going to mount this horse and go forth on horsey adventures. Come on. Into the hole, please. Dude. In you go. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. Awesome, guys. Yes, we are playing a default Minecraft music in this series. Enjoying the tasty, tasty Minecraft vibes. And just chilling. Right. If we're going to do some enchanting next, we need to get some bookshelves and stuff going, right? Um... But I feel like the best way to do this is to start working toward getting our Iron Golem farm up and running. Uh, but I feel like that is a mission that we need to start on at the beginning of an episode. How the Tater's looking. They're coming on good. They're coming on real, real good. I guess maybe what we should start doing is working on the infrastructure for the villagers, the villager trader trading hall itself. Yes, that is something that I wanted to start today. And uh, partly why we chopped down so many trees. The question is, though, where do we build this thing? And also, are there any other easy advancements that we can potentially get now? Because we I think we've done six. What did we do today, guys? Let's work it out. We did take aim, sniper duel, bullseye. Oh, we can do hired help. Hold on. Let's do hired help next. Well, let's do hired help next. We do this by shearing a pumpkin, right? If I'm not mistaken. And we should definitely have enough iron blocks for this. Yes. We shear a pumpkin and then make an iron golem. And I think for we need five iron blocks to make an iron golem. Is that correct? We shear this. Oh no, I think it is four. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. We're about to lock in another advancement. Boom, lock it in, my friends. Hired help done. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, hired help is done too. So what did we do today? Sniper duel, take aim, bullseye, hired help. We bred a horse. We bred a pig. We didn't eat anything that we needed to eat, right? We didn't kill anything new. I don't think we found another biome. So we're on six. For today. Mm 
We did what a deal too. Thank you. So seven. Cow breeding for leather. Excellent idea. Excellent idea. Plus we have a gazillion. Um, yeah, that you know what? That's an amazing idea. We need to breed cows. We haven't done that yet. And I think what we'll do is make some fences and just make like a cow pasture here. Let's do that. Thank you. That is a really great idea. I love this idea. Uh, where are we going to do it, though? We're kind of running out of space over here for farm bits. Maybe it goes here. We get rid of this, this wheatage. <laughs> You're a fan of the cow crusher. <laughs> we need the leather for the books. Yes, that is so true. We do need the leather for the books. Right. This is going to be cow food. And we're going to turn all of this into cow, cow land, basically. Cow land and cow food. The cow land shall begin um, here. It shall extend all the way to here. And then I guess we probably, we don't want them going in the water and stuff, so I guess... That's the end of this bit of um, sugarcane farming. That is okay, though. And let's see. We don't want to block off the village too much. All right, from here. Very nice. It's going to go like this, and the fences will be here. Hello, doggo. Hi. Hi. Something like this. Nice. I hear some ding a ling in the ears. Samaranth is back out of the 20 months. Thank you so much. And El Pope uh, is El Popo is here also. Thank you so much, my friend. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Right. Cows shall go here. Perfect. Probably need to move the boats now, because that will catch the cows. And while we're at it, shall we fix up this little bit of the village? Because it is a water hazard. Let's get that patched up. Okay, nice. There's a bunch of cows around here that we can lure. And really, all we need is a handful to get started. Oh my goodness, something just flashed in my eyeballs, and that is DFox288 with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so very much, DFox. That is very generous of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did a little bit of twerkage for you. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Here we go. Here's a bunch of cows. Come on, fellas. Come on, ladies. This way. Thank you so much, DFox. Appreciate it. And guys, if you do get a gifted sub of my channel, please do help me out with a big thank you in the chat. Always a very generous uh, thing for peeps to do. And uh, helps to keep the lights on up in this business, keep the show going for everybody. So thank you very much, guys. Oh, yeah, we need to... Uh, the donkey... We need to breed the donkey with the horse for the mule. Yes, that is true. We should probably trap that donkey, right? Okay, let's get the cows into the pen, then we'll trap the donkey. Jeez, I suddenly feel like we have a gazillion things to do, all of a sudden. DFox says, happy holidays, everybody. Thanks, Ren, for the awesome entertainment during the Christmas days. Thank you very much, DFox. Appreciate it again. Come on, cows. This away. This away. I hope, by the way, you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am. Um, you know... I I am acutely aware that we're not doing anything, you know, we're not speed running or breaking records or anything of this nature. We are literally just playing Minecraft. Um, and, uh, sh you know, <laughs> I do very much appreciate you guys coming and joining us uh, to watch this. And it is very difficult for me to, to even tell whether or not you're enjoying it because, you know, can't actually see your beautiful faces. But... 
That being said, judging by the 900, okay, I never, I don't like looking at view count because it makes me nervous, but looking at the 900, and, there's 964 of you watching. Wow, okay, that's kind of, I, I'm not, I'm never looking at the view account again. But I hope you're all enjoying it out there. And thank you so much for coming out to the show. Please, Mega Babies, and we can lock in cow business. Nice. Lock in the bovine business, everybody. Boom. Advancement number eight in the bag. We shall also be breeding a lot more of these cows because we need the leather for the books. Next up, what are we doing? Uh, we're locking in the donkey. Then when we tame the horse, we bring the horse over to the donkey. Then they get busy getting busy. Then they make a mule. Then we have to wait for them to have a rest. Then they get busy getting busy again. We make another mule. Then we have to breed the mule. Okay, good. That is quite a string of things that need to happen to make a mule. Hello, Mr. Donkey. You need to go into a hole, please. Uh, in there, please. Oh, he's so mad. <laughs> sorry, friendo. It's, it just had to be done. I'm so sorry. Oh, we can tame him though, right? Okay, you can't tame the donkeys. You can only tame the mules. Is that right? Oh, the mules are sterile. Okay, never mind. Okay, awesome. So, that's done. Donkey trappage success. What's next? Wow, inventory is really starting to uh, look terrible, isn't it? Let's just do some dumpage. Right, what's next? Crops are looking delicious. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so, advancements wise. Let's have a quick glance at, like, is there anything we can do here? This boat has legs. What is this? Oh, no, that's for nether stuff. Cover me with diamonds we can't really do. Is it a bird? We could try to do, is it a bird? We need to go and find um, a geode, though. Do you guys want to go find a geode? We need to go to the ocean and find a geode. That could be a good spot for this. I'm thinking, like, next episode, we should have done this at the beginning so that we could start breeding the cows quite aggressively. But as we've only done it now, um, I'm not sure we'll be able to get to enchanting and stuff in today's sesh. Let's go for a geode. Let's go see if we can get a geode because then we can get a looking glass and looking glasses are super cool in this game. Uh, but then we have to look at a parrot also. Okay, we can do that though, because there is a jungle biome there. And I think if we just, yeah, there's ocean here where we were battling the skeleton. So we might even find a geode pretty close by. Let's go pop, and, uh, pop our heads out there and see what's up. We can get bamboo. I think we got bamboo already. Um, I think. But I think next episode, guys, we do need to start focusing on um, getting our Iron Golem farm set up. Either that, or we need to go and find a Pillager Outpost and get our totem. These are the things I would like to do next episode. So I think next episode, we probably don't even get an advancement because we'll just work on infrastructure. Historical Sand, thank you so very much for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. All right, friends, keep your eyeballs peeled down there in the ocean. Also looking for any light that might indicate a lush cave, too. Oh, that's an azalea bush. Right? Yes. Oh, guys, we, we could potentially eat a glowberry. That's a foodage we have not consumed yet. Also, did we look in that ship? I can't remember. Okay. Um, okay, I, I'm not sure if I want to do this. 
<laughs> I, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I'm scared. I'm scared, everybody. Ooh, axolotl in a bucket. Yeah, we can do that one too. Lush cave counts as a biome too. Yes, I do believe it does. We have not bred parrots yet either. That is a very good point. Could have brought some seeds out here for that. I don't know if I have a shovel that can take us all the way down here though. Okay. We have already eaten cookies. We don't need cookies. Okay. Let's dig for the lush cave biome. Follow the root system. And theoretically, this should take us down into a lush cave biome, right? Or at least, this is how I did it on Hermacraft. Okay, now I'm getting excited. There are multiple advancements waiting for us at the bottom of this pit. Also potential dangerous cave, though. Which is why I keep torching it up here while we ascend. Or descend, should I say. Um, right, we are going to need another shovel. Luckily, we're like a... <laughs> a mobile crafting table. We've got everything that we need. Well, not really. Might as well yoink some more coal, though, because torches might start to evaporate here. Okay, we just have to keep following this dirt. Starts to get harder, of course, because um, it's easy when the dirt's double like this, because you can make little staircases out of it, but... I was really happy with this addition to Minecraft. I think it's super cool. I want more stuff like this in the game, where you see something rare in the world, right? And it indicates that this is the location of something cool. Uh, I think this is a very fun mechanic because it makes exploring um, interesting, you know? You go out and discover, like, you, you, you're basically looking for points of interest. And when the point of interest rewards you in... Uh, in a satisfying way. It's really cool. Okay. Uh, that doesn't go anywhere, though. This is just like a big pit. How deep does this go? Jeez. Yep, trail runs are another great example. I wasn't a huge fan of them until I tried them in the last advancement run that we tried, uh, the one that we failed. And when I tried them, I really liked them. I actually really like them now. <laughs> They're super fun. I was very skeptical. You know, old school Minecrafters are, are very reluctant to change stuff, you know? We don't like big changes. But we do get in the habit of, like, judging stuff before actually trying it, which is kind of bad. Um, so, I learned a lesson. Don't judge a Minecraft book by its cover. Here it is. We found it. I mean, how satisfying is this, right? This is so cool. I love this. Okay. Um, I don't really want to drop down there, TBH. Slightly nervous. Let's get it all lit up. Oh, it's so beautiful down here. I love Lush Caves. They are just such a fantastic addition to the game. We will definitely yoink some materials while we're down here. And we're definitely yoinking this too. Definitely. Look how cool this is. Except for you, 
You ruin everything. Why you gotta be you? <laughs> Creeper's gonna creep, eh? Okay. There's so much iron in this thing. Wow. What level are we at? We're at level 14? Okay. Let's not waste too much time down here. First and foremostly, glow berries. Let's get some. Such a satisfying noise. <laughs> oh, I love it. Nice. Would very much love a little axolotl friend. We can put the axolotl in the uh, the town center water source. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> a well? Yes. We'll put the axolotl in the well. If we get one, though. Why are they no spawn, though? Where are the axolotls, guys? Oh, more lapi. Awesome. Oh, we have to breed axolotls too, right? We need another bucket. Um, do we have to breed axolotls? Wait, let me check the chart. No, we don't have to breed axolotls. Oh, we do have to breed them. Never mind. Yep, yep, yep. We do. We do. Okay. Well, they're not spawning. Oh, imagine we get a, another diamond today. Oh, spider spawner! Spider spawner! Spider spawner. Could be a notch apple. Okay. These glow berries are annoying. <laughs> they are in the way. Spider Dungeon! Wow, I can't remember the last time I saw one of these. Any glitched dungeons attached? New. New. Alright, two chests, guys. We got two chests. And we get to lock in Glowberry. Here we go. Boom. Let's lock it in, friends. Lock it in. Where is it? Um, there we go. Glowberries. Done. Beautiful. Okay, awesome. Right. I am left-handed, so I always prefer things to the left. So we shall open this one second. Let's open the right-handed chest first. And if we don't get anything, it's the right-handed uh, people's fault. Okay? Here we go. Boom! Oh, it's all your fault, right-handed people. Although we did get a name tag. Oh, beetroot seeds! We don't have beetroots yet. Never mind. The right-handed people win. The right-handed people win. We actually need those. We haven't eaten beetroot yet, so you guys win. All right, left-handed people, what do we get? What do we get? Left-handed people? Notch Apple? No Notch Apple, but records? Oh, we can play a record. No, we need a diamond to play a record. To make a, a, note, a note block player, right? Or whatever. A jukebox. More beetroot seeds. Oh, we find some golden horse armor for our cool horse, too. That we are eventually going to tame. All right, nice, guys. This is looking sweet. Good, okay. Axolotls would be lovely. Yeah, that record will go into our note block, into our jukebox. That will be our... Um, which advancement is that? It is this one. Here we go. Make the meadows come alive with the sound of music from a jukebox. We, I mean, we could use one of our diamonds to do that. We don't have to make a diamond pickaxe, to be honest. Like, a diamond pickaxe is more of a luxury than anything. We could make the jukebox, get the jukebox advancement, and then save one of the diamonds to make the, um, the enchanting table next episode. The trouble is obsidian. We'd have to get obsidian from ruined portals then. Right, how big is this little cave? 
I left some iron behind. Oh, hello there, friendo. Say hello to my axe. Okay. The last time we went, did a little bit of exploring, we found a dungeon. So let's pop our heads around here, see if we can find anything else interesting. Trouble is we're running out of torches. Also, guys, do you act like how do axolotls spawn? Will will they spawn? Or if they didn't spawn when we were here, then they're not gonna spawn. Do you know what I mean? Like, do they respawn like other um critters? Do we have to like unload the chunk to make them respawn? How does it work? The Doxy says, Hi Ren, first time I've managed to make a stream. I hope you're well. Lovely to see you. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, they should spawn, right? I feel like we need to come in and out of the chunk and that will prompt them to spawn or at least every time we reload the chunk it will um, it will trigger the chance to spawn. So I guess we need to find... We need to go far enough away from the water bits to load them. Where does this go? Nowhere. Oh, they spawn in the dark area. Oh, I see. Um, I remember having trouble with this before. Um, yeah, we need to make the light dark, right? Or, or the water dark, anyway. Is that true though? Like, do they spawn in darkness or... No, they don't. They, they, they don't need darkness. There we go, guys. There's our axolotl. I think there's two of them. There are two of them. Yes! The cutest predator. They are so cute. Lock it in, guys. Lock it in. Where is it? There we go. The cutest predator. Okay, awesome. Right. We need the other one too. Um, What do they eat? Do they eat fish? How do we breed these uh, these cutie pies? Water kitters. Boop. La uh, um, they eat tropical fish. Okay. Oh, but it's buckets of tropical fish. That's right. They eat buckets of tropical fish. Okay, cool. Well, that's something we don't have access to. So we shall have to do that some other time. But let's get these adorable little monsters out of here and back home, safe and sound. Back up we go. That was a lovely little adventure into the root systems of a lush cave biome. Super cool. Did we get an advancement for the... Yes, we did, guys. Uh, it was lush, lush caves. We got the lush caves biome. Is that 10? Is that 10 advancements for today? Did we do it? We've got some tropical fish pretty near our oceans, so um, we'll be able to do that quite easily, I think. Yeah, we've got tropical fish all around. We'll be good. Wow, I, I think we got to 10, guys. I don't know. We can do a count when we get back, but um, I feel like we got to 10. I, I honestly, it was touch and go at one point. I didn't think we'd get there today. The advancements start getting harder and harder, you know? In the first couple of days, you like, you knock them out pretty fast, but... Um, which direction did we come from? Um, I think it's this way, right? Yeah, I think it's this way. Yeah, we got two axolotls. Yeah, let's check the ship. Let's check the ship. I think we got to the ship with a completely full inventory. And I might have, like, left a map behind. That could be our diamond, also. Also, still keeping an eye out for geodes. We came out here for geodes, got distracted by axolotls. <laughs> you gotta love Minecraft, eh? Yeah, we do need a boat storage a storage boat system, that's for sure. 
Ooh, is that a shipwreck or a geode? Oh, that, oh, there was two shipwrecks here, yeah. Let's have a look. We had a look in here. I remember coming here, I think. Yes, there wasn't anything in... Oh, there was 61 coal. I left 61 coal in this ship, guys. Absolutely outrageous. But bear in mind, when we got to this point, we had been traveling for like three hours in episode one. All we did in episode one was travel and for some crazy reason, we just did not get uh, villages. They just weren't spawning anywhere. And uh, then we saw, saw the star of Renthalem in the distance and we found our, for, our forever home. It was glorious. <laughs> yep, I put the coal there. Yeah, I do love the chess boat also. It's super cool. Hey, Brother Squirrel, nice to see you. Peace be with you. All right. Back to Renthalem we go, guys. Beautiful. Um, I'm trying to... Yeah, I want to, I want to figure out exactly how many advancements we've done today. I should probably... Maybe next episode I'll make a book. And we can start writing them down and remembering them. My memory is so bad. I cannot remember anything. And especially cannot remember advancements. We also didn't take a look in the chests over here, did we? We got, they got very cross with us, the drowns. We could try again. Let's try again. Where's the chests? Oh, it's a trident guy. That's not good. Fast run. Sorry, dude. Jeez. They're so touchy when it comes to you fiddling with their stuff. By the way, here are the tropical fish. The tropical fish are here. Oh, I'd love to breed the axolotls though, hey? Come on then, let's do it, guys. Let's catch a couple of tropical fish. We can just smelt some iron here on this little island. We've got everything that we need. Except a crafting table. <laughs> the basics. We've got everything that you need except the basics. Right, let's get some tropical fish. I want to make an axolotl baby as the last thing that we do today, guys. It's going to be our final mission. And then um, next session we will begin work on our iron golem farm, I think. This time around I'm going to do it in a smarter way, I think. In a way that doesn't kill us. We have not brushed any sand in this session or in this uh, series yet. No, we haven't found one of those things yet. Um, okay. Let's make some fern eye. Cook some iron. Make some buckets. We need to plant beetroot when we get back to. So next stream or next episode we'll be able to eat beetroot, which will be great. We got some more lapis. We got this. Sticks can get out of here. Don't actually want any more raw copper. We don't need it. We got records. This has been an, an amazing little adventure. We got some glow berries, which we've chomped. Beautiful. Got some more bones. Nice. That is bone meal for days. Right, we need two buckets, right? We need two tropical fish. Hitbox is on. Hello, friends. Sorry, you're going to be axolotl food. Kind of mean, but, you know. Tis what tis. Come here, bud. Yoink. All right, sweet. Let's get home. Yes, Mr. Squirrel. These, uh, this hardcore series will be going up onto YouTube. Guys, I've got a weird story to tell you about this. Oh, the trident fell is back. The trident feller is back. You hate to see it. I want his trident though. Okay. You want to go to war, dude? I don't have any arrows. No. <laughs> Why is he so aggressive? There's no ways I can kill this thing, right? I mean, maybe. 
if it gets stuck in the boat, my shield is mega dinged though. I mean, I might be able to kill this thing if it gets in the boat. Hold on, let me position myself that he tracks toward the boat. Oh my goodness. He broke the boat! He broke the boat. Can I kill this thing? Um, yeah, we need a fresh shield then, right? The iron's in the... in there, though. Oh, no. He pr he's, he's blocking my iron supply for a fresh shield. Okay, we can do this. We just have to move fast. We're going to flank him. Okay. Oh, if we get that trident, this is going to be sick. This will definitely be worth the risk if we get the trident. All right, I need him kind of in the open. Whew, okay. I seriously don't have any arrows, no flint, nothing. Uh, ow! Oh, got him! Oh man, that was quite a stressful fight, not gonna lie. <laughs> Big dings. When those tridents hit you, it's like four hearts a smack, but no trident. It was definitely worth a try though, that was fun. Right, let's get back home before anything really bad happens. Sleep this night away too. Whew, man. I am quite surprised I live too, uh, Serena. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we should definitely not be doing things like that. No. But hey, it just makes us better at the game, hey? The practice makes perfect. I can't believe that thing followed us all the way around the corner. It was so upset that I fiddled with its village. It was like, I'm, I'm going to destroy this human. No matter what it takes, I'm never giving up. I'm tracking you to the end of the world. <laughs> By the way, how dramatic is this landscape here? It's so cool. I think Savannah is like starting to become one of my favorite biomes in the game. Look how cool that is. Savannahs used to be quite boring, but, you know, uh, Caves and Cliffs has just made them so cool. Um, anyway, let's go make ourselves some axolotl babies. I think it's because we had full iron armor, we did pretty well against the trident. I mean, a trident, if you don't have armor on, a trident's just gonna nuke you instantly. Um, axolotls are like really dumb though. <laughs> I think they're just gonna jump out of the water. Also, this is way too small. Right? This is way too small for an axolotl tank. We'll take the town bell down for now. Uh, let's go plant the beetroot too. Hold on. All right, Beetroot goes here. We need to make the axolotls a decent place to s s slop. I think that's what axolotls do. <laughs> they slop around. I mean, their bodies are made are, are very blob blobulous, you know, is the word I would use to describe them. <laughs> 
Yeah, we're gonna make a babies. We're gonna make axolotl babies. It's gonna be adorable. Can they get out of a half slab? I don't think so, right? Well, I guess we'll find out. Sea kitters! A sea kitter -cata. Okay, very cool. That's one. That's two. And it's axolotl baby time. They were sw swimming in synchronicity there. Did you see that? Oh, look at the little faces. Oh, it's too much. It's too much. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I missed. I missed with the, with the thing. I missed with the thing. Oh, man. I missed with the thing. That is, that is so annoying. I was so excited about it, too. Oh, man. You hate to see it. <laughs> you really, really hate to see it. Oh, jeez. Okay, well... We got some building blocks, though, and some records. Okay, uh, let's work out how many advancements we nailed today, guys. Let's see. Let's count. We did. Take aim, sniper duel, bullseye, hired help. We also did the trader one, but that doesn't show up on this chart. Uh, what a deal. We did what a deal. We also did a CD place... Tactical Fishing, The Cutest Predator. We found one biome. We uh, ate a glowberry. We bred a pig, a cow, and a horse. So we did 12 today. We did 12 today, guys. Do we need to rename the axolotls, really? I think we only have one name tag, though, hey? That might be bad. We did 12 today, friends. That's pretty good. And I think we can do one more for the road. Oh, we can name the bucket. Should we put the axolotls in buckets so that they don't despawn? That's probably a good idea, right? Yeah, let's, let's yoink them so they don't despawn. Hey, Tanisha, thank you very much for the raid. And welcome, welcome to the stream. We are currently... We tried to breed axolotls, but I failed. I put the tropical fish in the water and the axolotls instantly insta-fragged them. <laughs> so, we failed to breed. But um, we are about to do our final advancement for the day which is going to be record in a jukebox. We found one diamond today, which we're going to be putting toward this particular um, advancement. And we're going to do it right here in the town center for all of the town to hear. Well, we have to wait for the Minecraft music to start playing first, though. And we're going to play... Well, we got two C41813s, so we're going to play this. And... Um, Oh, eat the tropical fish for the advancement. I think we've done that already. We've eaten all of the fish. All we have left now, guys, is beetroot, sweet berries, and um, and chorus fruit, and rabbit stew, and beet soup. This is all we've got left. We could probably knock those out right now, actually. Hold on. Wow, this beetroot grew so fast. Outrageous. Okay, so we have to eat a beet, eat a beet, and make beetroot soup, eat the beet soup. And that'll be two more foodages for today. That's going to take us up to uh, 15. How many advancements did we get yesterday, guys? Can you remember? I think we got 16 yesterday, right? How do we make beet soup? Oh, you need loads of beets to make beet soup, don't you? It's like, uh, I think you need like seven or something. 
I think we did 16 advancements yesterday. So as long as we're kind of getting the same amount of advancements each time, I'm happy. Or, it, well, it's going to start getting much harder, of course. But anywhere, like any more than 10 a day, and I think we've done great. All right, there's the beet soup. We require one more beet. Because we need to munch raw beet and then soup beet. That was not a beet yet. That beat. Okay, awesome. Three more advancements, guys. That pushes us to 17. We actually did more advancements today than we did yesterday. And I thought yesterday we absolutely slammed it. So I'm very impressed. Well done, guys. And by well done, guys, I mean well done me. <laughs> hey, James McMillner, thank you so much for the biddies. Appreciate it very much. And thank you all uh, out there, by the way, for all of the support today, my friends. We uh, we crossed the 1,400 subscriber barrier today. And approaching the 1,450. Absolutely insane. Thank you, guys. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, okay, I need to... Oh, we can breed. We can breed uh, cows. While we wait for the Minecraft music to stop playing. <laughs> keep those cows breeding and this is going to give us access to some beautiful steaks next episode whoops come on are you ready for round two looks like they are getting busy getting busy nice okay we need to uh we need to lose some life we're just going to sit at the bottom of this pond for a bit <laughs> Brownie says, feels good. I just put Unbreaking 3 and Mending on an Elytra. Oh, it's such a feels. That is such a vibe when you do that for the first time in a world. It's so good. All right, sweet. We shall muncheth on this beat first. And then hopefully we will... I mean, a beat does not give you very good saturation, so we'll be munching on this beat in no time. There we go. You know what time it is, friends. Time to lock it in. There it is. Beetroot and beet stew. Beet soup done. Now all we need is sweet berries. We haven't seen sweet berries in this series yet, though, fortunately. Got one more fruit out of the fruit and veg to eat, guys. Oh, and the apples, too. But we're saving this golden apple for when we are in serious trouble. Right. The final advancement for the day as the sun sets over ben uh, Renthalem. <laughs> C14. Taking us into that glorious Minecraft vibe. Guys, thank you so much for coming today. I hope you had a fantastic time hanging out with me. And uh, very, very happy and uh, enjoying myself very much playing this wonderful game with you all. This is very loud. This is very loud. Um, but I do hope you've had a great time with me today, guys. And we'll probably see you again tomorrow. Same time, same place. 8 p.m. UK time. For day four. We survived day three. Yes. And we can start thinking about either doing a raid or setting up our golem farm tomorrow, guys. Um, that's going to be the plan. 